A lot of you remember the old newlywed game. Well, this is not all newlywed, so we're calling it TB's Game of Love. And I have three couples standing by. We're going to go to via satellite here in a second. And here's the concept. We have a newlywed couple that's been married for less than a year. We have a not-so-newlywed couple that's been married a pretty good amount of time. And then we have a goldie-wed couple that has been married for many, many years. Now, the fun part of this, they're all from the same family. So I ask these guys questions. I ask the husband's questions and the wife's questions. Of course, like the old game show, they have to answer the questions like they think their spouse would. And of course, the reactions of spouses is the best part of this. It, it's a great segment, turned out really great. So we're going to go TV's Game of Love, and I'll be back after that. Check it out. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let us introduce our couples. First of all, we have the Goldie Weds. She's a homemaker. He's a truck driver. Welcome, Brenda and Leon J. Hey. Next, we have the not so newly wed. She's an insurance agent. He's an EHF tech. Welcome, Pam and Robbie Banks. And finally, we have the newly wed. She's a stay at home auntie. He is an ABA line therapist. Please welcome. Kayla and J.W. Morrison. Okay, we're going to start off with the Goldie Weds, and we're going to let the men answer the question first before we start. You guys, obviously, by the length of time you've been married, have to be the favorites. Do you, do you think you're going to win this competition? No. Nope. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Leon, these will be your questions to answer. Uh, you've got to answer like you think that uh, Brenda would have answered. Okay, Leon, first of all, we asked, if your spouse was a cartoon character, which one would he be? What cartoon character do you think that Brenda said that you would be? Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> <laughs> Woody Woodpecker. All right, Brenda, let's show us what you said. Bugs Bunny. Bugs Bunny. Oh, you know better than that. <laughs> the Bugs Bunny. All right, so no points for the Goldie Weds this time. Let's move along the line to the not so newly Weds, Pam and Robbie. Robbie, same question we asked Pam. If you were a cartoon character, which one would you be? Uh, Pepe Le Pew. That is right. <laughs> Yeah. She, she used to call me that all the time. Do you care to elaborate why? Uh, Pam? Because when he had his hair, his hair looked like Peppy Le Pew the way it comes to the front. Alright, good enough. That's five points. <laughs> five points for you guys. You jump out to an early lead. We move down to the newlyweds here. Um, same question, JW. If you were a cartoon character, which one did Kayla say you would be? Squidward. Get out. Wow. That, is right. that is right. And Caleb, what tell us why you said. That? Because he's grumpy and mean to everybody. <laughs> All right. So at the end of the first round, we've got five points for the not so newlyweds, five points for the newlyweds. Okay. All right, Mr. Leon. You guys are trying to catch up. <laughs> so far, zero points, but here's question number two. Oh, we asked Brenda, which of the following candies best describes your first kiss? Did she say A, Starburst, B, Good and Plenty, C, Hot Tamales, D, Goobers, E, Milk Duds, or F, Zero? Which candy best describes your first kiss with Brenda? <clears throat> Once again, the choices were Starburst, Good and Plenty, Hot Tamales. Hot Tamales. Hot Is that tamales. your answer? 
That's Let's see what Brenda said. Hot tamale. Hot tamale. You did with him with you. And that's five points for you guys. All right, we move down the, the line to Robbie and Pam. Question again. Same question. Which of the following candies best describes your first kiss? Starburst, Good and Plenty, Hot Tamales, Goobers, Milk Duds, or Zero? Let's see, I'm going to go out on a limb and say uh, Milk Duds. <laughs> zero! Oh, Pam said zero. <laughs> no reason why, it just sounds like something you say. <laughs> All right, well, no points for you guys That's on this awesome. question. Now let's go to the newlyweds. JW, which candy did Kayla say best describe your first kiss? Was it Starburst, Good and Plenty, Hot Tamales, Goobers, Milk Duds, or Zero? Zero. Milk duds. Milk duds. <laughs> you don't remember? We missed no, each other's mouth. No, uh, I don't. It was a dud. Okay. No, that was garbage. You suck. You suck. All right. Stupid answer. What a horrible divorce. All right. Well, let's see if we can pick up some points this time. We're gonna start with you guys this time to kind of swap it up, but after two rounds. We have a three-way tie at five points. The Goldie Wes was the only one that got the kiss right in that round. So everybody has five. Okay. Question number three, JW. We asked Kayla, when your spouse leaves the house, what time is it? Did she say A, party time, B, time to clean, or C, nap time? When you leave the house, what time is it for Kayla? <laughs> I do not take no naps. No, tell her. Oh. oh. See? Time to clean. My bad. I time to clean up after you. I, I listened. I heard the question. I thought it was You one. heard the question wrong. That's what I meant. <laughs> See, that's why that's I, you can't go first. All right, guys. Okay, no, okay. Sorry, no points for that question. All right, same question. Same question to you, Robbie. Uh, we asked Pam when you leave the house, what time is it for her? Party time, time to clean, or nap time? This is a tricky one. <laughs> All depends on if we fuss that morning. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say time to clean. Yay! And that's right. Woo! You guys oh, jump in the clean. lead. Not me. You got it wrong. <laughs> you guys jump in the lead with ten points. And now finally we go to our goalie weds, Brenda and Leon. Leon, when you leave the house, what time is it for Brenda? Party time, time to clean, or nap time? Time to clean. All right. And he got it. <laughs> All right, good job, guys. At the end of the third question, now Goldie Weds have ten, not so Newlyweds have ten, and the Newlyweds have five. Because you suck. <laughs> All right, moving right along to question number four. Leon, we asked Brenda, what one item of clothing? Does your spouse wear that you just can't stand? <laughs> what do you wear that she can't stand? What do I wear that she can't stand? What does he wear? Yeah. What do you wear that I can't stand? Yeah. I got an old shirt with a toe spot on it. I mean, it's toe on one side. Brenda's nodding. Let's see what she <laughs> said. Tore up shirt. That's right. Five more points. So you guys have 15. <laughs> Let's go to the not so newlyweds. Robbie, what one item of clothing do you wear that Pam just can't stand? Holy jeans, I don't know. All right, let's see what she said. Your brown work jacket I keep wanting to throw away. <laughs> brown work jacket. But it's broke in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, no points for the fourth question. All right, Kayla and JW. JW, what item of clothing do you wear that Kayla can't stand? My yellow hoodie. That's the only one. What? No. Your what? pink happy cow shirt. Oh, man, yeah. I, <laughs> I love that shirt. Exactly. I hate it. A little miscommunication there. No points. So at the end of the fourth question, the Goldie Weds are the heavy favorites. They're in the lead. 15, 10 to 5. All right. We're going to start with you guys again on the fifth question. 
JW, we asked Kayla, what is your spouse's most irritating habit? What did Kayla say was your most irritating habit? Not picking up after myself. Thank God, he finally got one. That is right, not cleaning up after itself. All woo, right. Yeah, woo! <laughs> An interesting celebration between the newlyweds. <laughs> All right, that gives them 10 points. Now let's move to the not so newlyweds who also have 10 right now. Robbie, what did Pam say was your most irritating habit? Just narrow um, it down to one. My most irritating habit to her, pinching on her. All right, let's see what she said. Yeah. TV sleep rewind. TV sleep rewind. It is the man when I'm laying in the bed trying to watch TV. Come on. Now she told us, Robbie, that you fall asleep, you wake up, rewind it, and fall asleep again. That's like. it. That's the way I do it. That's the way I roll. <laughs> All right. No points. That leaves you tied with the newlyweds. Now we go to our leaders. Let's see if they can increase their lead. The Goldieweds, Brenda and Leon. Leon, what did Brenda say was your most irritating habit? Don't answer when she's talking to me because I can't hear. All right, let's see what she said. Dropping clothes everywhere. Dropping clothes everywhere. When you come in, you hang your coat, you drop your shoes and your socks and your shirt. All right, so no points for you guys. The newlyweds pick up the only points now. Around. Now it's 15, 10, and 10 across the board. And we're going to, the last question for you, Leon. The Goldie Weds, last question for the men. Leon, who would Brenda say that she would pick to play you in a movie? Clint Eastwood. Uh, let's see what Brenda said. Matt Dillon. <laughs> From Gunsmoke. That's <laughs> she picked. All right, no points for the goalie weds. All right, the not so newly weds. You can tie these guys. Robbie, who did Pam say she would pick to play you in a movie? Still saying the one that I want to say though. Say um, drawing a blank. Let's say. <clears throat> Romeo Happy. Yeah, pick somebody. <laughs> um, Jack Nicholson. Oh, oh my oh, goodness, that's right. <laughs> what a job. Nice job there, Robbie. That's only one because I was trying to think of his name, but we just it's watched Batman. Batman. You guys have tied the Goldie West for the lead. Now let's see if we can end the guys' round. With a three-way tie, J.W., who would Kayla pick to play you in a movie? Tatum Channing. That's not even his Channing name. Channing Tatum. <laughs> Jack. 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 <laughs> Are you kidding me? Jay, I don't even know say somebody. You don't even know his correct name. Well, we were talking about him last. Jack Black. <laughs> Jack Black. It ain't who I want you to be. It's who you who would be. Jack Black. I would not have Jack Black be me. He's too happy. All right. That ends the first round. We're going to come back. You suck. Right now, we have the Goldie Weds. We have the, we have the Goldie Weds right now with 15. Also, the not so newly Weds have 15, and the newly Weds are right behind with 10. And we're. Okay, we're back for the ladies' questions just to review at the end of. The men's questions, the Goldie Weds have 15 points. The not so newlyweds are tied with the lead for 15 and right behind them are the newlyweds with 10 points. All right, we're gonna start with you, Brenda. These are questions we asked Leon. First question, we asked Leon, if your wife could choose one thing of yours to get rid of, what would she choose? Toe up shirt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, going with the toe up shirt again. Let's see what he said. The Ford. The Ford. The Ford. The forty four. The Ford. Yeah, <laughs> 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 well, that sounded sad, Leon. 
<laughs> All right, no points for you guys on that question. Let's go to you, Robbie and Pam. Pam, what did Robbie say was one thing of his? If you could get rid of one thing of his, what would you choose? Don't say man-laws. <laughs> <laughs> no, you <Your> in-laws! <laughs> But it's not really his that I would get rid of. I'd get rid of Lindsay's laptop so he would do some stuff around the house. Some bummer of an answer. All right, let's see what you say, Robbie. Um, let's see, my baseball card collection. Um, I did think about that, but... I, I got to rip off papers, by the way. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Robbie got the um, material answer. shortage there. All right. No points for you guys. All right, newlyweds, Kayla and JW, you can tie. You can tie this game if you can get this right. Kayla, if you could choose one thing of JW's to get rid of, what would you choose? His dog. And that is right. His dog, that's correct. So we have a three-way tie now. This is correct because I'm a beast. At 15 points. All right, we're going to start with you guys. Uh -huh. On the second question. Think about this one too. All right, Kayla. We asked JW, what one thing does your wife have too much of? I don't have too much. Baby girl, real close. Mm -hmm. What do I have too much of? Newlyweds don't have much confidence in the folks. Oh. Oh. Wow. That, no, okay. I'm talking about material items. I would have said that if I had known otherwise. Okay. I apologize. No, it, it could be anything. No <laughs> points for you guys that time. Still tied three ways now. Not so newlyweds, Robbie and Pam. Pam, what one thing does Robbie say you have too much of? <laughs> too much of my mama. <laughs> Really? Oh, well, let's you see what think he... I would have answered something like that? <laughs> With them sitting here. <laughs> I said clothes. I don't Too many clothes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, no points joke. for you guys. <laughs> now let's see the Goldie was if you guys can regain the lead. No. Brenda, what did Leon say is the one thing you have too much of? You got a rooster. Let's see what he said. Chicken. <laughs> Chicken stomp. <laughs> Well, that we're gonna give you that. That's that's what he meant. So that's five points. You guys are back in the lead, twenty to fifteen to fifteen. That could have been a little bit of anything. Chicken jump. All right. Next question. We asked Leon, Brenda, what would your spouse? What would you say was your best feature? It could be anything. What you mean? What is your? What do you believe is your best feature about do you yourself? Do you, what do I do best? Both, I can't. <laughs> Let's see what Leon said. <laughs> Her cooking. Oh, that's a compliment. So he went for the the cooking instead of the physical feature. Probably a smart man. All right, but no points. No points this time. All right, Pam. <clears throat> what would you say? What, what what did Robbie say that you would say was your best feature? My ability to clean the house. Oh, that's gracious. I put on there her butt. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you were under the impression that Pam would like her behind. Yes, what right? you <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. No points for you guys this time, but let's see. If the newlyweds can tie for the lead, <laughs> Kayla, what did JW think you would say was your best feature? Um, my eyes. Got it. Oh, All right. Great job. And you guys have moved into a 
Two way tie for the lead. Man, we sink. Not in the lead yet. You raising your hand. All right, and we're gonna start with you guys on this next question. Oh, I don't like those. Yeah, we not. Wait, I ain't got no. Wait. All right, Kayla. We asked JW if there was one thing that you couldn't go a whole day without doing, what would it be? What? Let's wait. If there was one thing you couldn't go a whole day without doing, what would it be? According to JW. Just go ahead and guess. Go ahead. Facebook? No. People. Yeah. Oh, every ten minutes you in the bathroom. I go to the bathroom with with every ten minutes. I don't every ten minutes, but I do pee a lot. <laughs> All right, <laughs> moving right along. No points for you guys, Pam and Robbie. It's a chance for you to tie for the lead again. Pam, if there was one thing you couldn't do without <clears throat> go a day without a whole day without doing, what did Robbie say it would be? Oh, he says shopping. I've done that one time. I've done that. <laughs> All right, no what? points for you guys. Now let's see if the Goldie Goldie Weds can retake the lead. Miss Brenda, we asked Leon if there's one thing that you couldn't go a whole day without doing. What would it be? Yeah, you can. Well, I don't do much since I'm at home. So. Drinking my Pepsi, I guess. Let's see what he said. Don't. Drinking soda, that is right. That's pretty amazing, oh, Leon. Oldies. So you guys retake the lead with 25. Okay, Goldie Weds, you've retaken the lead 25 to 20 to 15. And you can take a commanding lead, possibly two more questions left in this contest. All right, Brenda, question number five. We asked Leon, <clears throat> what adjective best describes your family? I don't even know what adjective is. <laughs> 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 Said that for real. Oh, wow. Best describes my family. Best describes my family. Well, what would Leon say, what word best describes your family? Crazy. <laughs> Leon went with crazy. All right, I think that's, yeah, a little bit in all of us there. No points for you guys. All right. You are no pressure here, no pressure. Pam, but you're officially out of being able to win this thing if you guys don't get this one. All right. What did Robbie say? What adjective would best describe the J family? We'll allow that one little hint. Uh, <laughs> go get my shotgun. Helpful. Oh my God. Oh. I wish I'd have thought about that. I said a uh, weird. But I have a smiley face. So I said it nicely. The good weird. We're not all weird. Most of you are. <laughs> the good weird. All right, no points for you. No points for you this time, so we know you won't be able to catch the goldie weds, but these newlyweds here are five points behind. They can tie going into the final question. We can still win. Yes, let's go. All right, can you tie it? Kayla, what did JW say? What adjective would best describe the Gantz family? I mean, come on. The Gantz family, the, not the Jake. The Gantz family. <laughs> Come on. Like for real, come on. Like, I gotta go. What do you think? I don't know. You want me to help you? Wow. Yeah. That is right. Wow. 
I would have went with weird on that too, being a member. I would have went slow on that. All right. <laughs> I love my Nantes family, okay? All right. All right, here we go. This is the last question. Okay, newlyweds, you can take the lead and put the pressure on the Goldieweds. You're tied at 25 if you can get this last question right. Kayla, we asked JW, which of the following hymns, like a church hymn, most describes your marriage? Did he say, A, there is sunshine in my soul today? B, B, does the journey seem long? C, master the tempest is raging? Or D, what glorious scenes mine eyes behold? With B. That was, does the journey seem long? Yes. <laughs> does the journey seem long? And that is right. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, <laughs> you guys have been married for how long now? Freaking four months. Seems like a lifetime. We've been together for eight years. Before that. Before that. Before but... that so. so that's why the journey seems long. We've been yes. with him for four months. Woo! Oh my God. Worse than the eight <laughs> years together. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys have took the lead with 30. Now. They're out of the competition. We're still going to let them answer this question. The not so newlyweds, Pam and Robbie. Pam, what did Robbie say? Which hymn uh, most describes your marriage? Was it Sunshine in My Soul Today? Does the journey seem long? Master, the tempest is raging. Or what glorious scenes mine eyes behold? Can they get one right? <coughs> <laughs> I'll look. I just want to say, Master of the Tempest is raging. Right. Right. Yeah. So you, oh, that person, see that? So she rages at you a lot, Robbie. What the world? Y'all just don't. I know. was thinking that the what other way the around. You're raging at me. Oh no, no, no. See. All right, well, you guys ended up with 20 points, but now we're gonna move over to our Goldie Wiz. If you guys get this right, you force a sudden death question, a tiebreaker question. But if you don't, if you don't uh, do don't get it right, excuse me, then the newlyweds will win the competition. Damn. They have thirty, you have twenty-five. All right, Miss Brenda, what did Leon say? Best describes your marriage. Which him? There's sunshine in my soul today. Does the journey seem long? Master, the tempest is raging. Or what glorious scenes mine eyes behold? What was first one? There's sunshine in my soul today. Does the journey seem long? Master, the tempest is raging. Or what glorious scenes mine eyes behold? There's sunshine in my soul today. <laughs> hey. That is right. Uh -huh. <laughs> so we have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have to go to a tiebreaker between the Goldie Weds and the Newly Weds. Sort of. Okay, we have found ourselves tied. Here's how the tiebreaker works. We asked both of you guys the same questions earlier. You have to have the same answer on both of these parts. If both couples get this wrong and one couple has one half of the part right, then that couple would win. Of course, if the same thing stands after this question, we'll have to go to another tiebreaker. So let's start with you guys. You tied for the lead with 30 points during the competition. We ask both of you, when and where was your first kiss? Brenda, what did you say? I said 50 years ago at Granny Myers. Okay, you said 50 years ago at Granny Myers. What did you say, Leon? Look at him. Sure, Granny that's Granny Myers. That's Granny Myers. He didn't say when. Okay, so you got half of it right. Now Maybe we go. I swear if you know. On court. We go to the newlyweds. Okay. If the newlyweds can get this both parts right, this competition's over. They win. If not, we go to another tiebreaker. All right, Kayla. When and where was your first kiss? My parents' house eight years ago. All right, what? JW. When did you say? Eight years ago. That would put us in middle school at her house. Right. We were in middle school eight years ago. We started dating. Winners! Winner! <laughs> chicken dinner! That wasn't the... 
I mean, yeah, when? In middle school. Well, since they were the school years. Since they were the couple that got eliminated, let's go. Let's let you oh, guys oh act as judges. Goodness. Would you take that <clears throat> on as a right answer of when? I mean, come on. <laughs> how, how much money y'all got? <laughs> <laughs> or do you think we should go to one more, okay. one more tiebreaker question? Okay. What was that? He said I'll go with another. Up to you, go ahead. Oh, God. Oh, come I, on. I say Kill there's a judge out here now. <laughs> Duck, you'll be fine. <laughs> Smack. I'll win. Alright, now I'll go with it. Yeah, we'll give it to you. Yeah! Alright, the judges have spoke. The newlyweds have won it. Congratulations. You guys started off a little rocky there, but you came on at the end, picked up the win, and you will get your dinner for two gift cards from compliments, excuse me, compliments of the TV show after this show is aired. You guys have anything you'd like to say in closing? Um, not really. I'm just kind of irritated right now. Beast mode right here. That's all I got to say. Alright. <laughs> Pam and Robbie, thank you for participating. Anything to say as we leave? Nah. I, I have no we, comment. We're sore losers. Yeah. We didn't start Alright. <laughs> and Leon and Brenda. You guys were so close, almost there. So, do you have any parting words for the audience? Good luck. What they good looking? Good looking. All right, thank you all for participating. This has been TV's Game of Love. Woo! And let's move on to the next thing.